Hello my dear students welcome back to my channel that is physics wali madam that you know so if you have not seen my previous videos please go and watch my previous videos and the second chapter i have already started that is motion in straight line so here and uh, first and foremost i want to thank you all of you those who have subscribed to my channel liked and shared my videos thank you one and all so let us start today's video so we'll see some of the motion of the rigid body and we will see some of the definitions i'll explain in brief some of the definitions which we are uh, which we come across in our mechanics subject okay so let us start with the motion of a rigid body so i told you in the previous video what is a rigid body rigid body is a body which have a definite shape and size okay so now let us see what type of motions will a rigid body have always the rigid body will have a translatory motion and a rotatory motion so let us see what is a translatory motion so translatory motion are the motion in which in the body all the particles move in a same direction they move in a particular direction when an external force is applied on the body so here you can see the car is moving in a direction not only the car the the body of the car the wheel all are moving in a particular direction now in the second picture you can see an apple falling from the tree so entirely this apple is falling in the one straight direction the train moving okay and a football which is kicked it moves in the forward direction so the body the a body which will be moving in a particular direction that is known as a translatory motion and let us see a rotatory motion what is rotatory motion means in a rotatory motion always the center line is known as the axial line the particles in the axial line will be fixed and the particles which are in the neighboring side of the axial line they will be rotating in a circular direction with a different radius okay so and they will have a rotatory tra trajectory so such type of motion is known as a rotatory motion you can see the example of a torque a giant wheel okay then the fan of the helicopter and the earth moving along its own axis okay so this are the examples for rotatory motion so translatory is the all the particles in that object will have a forward direction or in a particular direction but in a rotatory the center axis will be fixed all the particles in the center axis will be fixed and the neighboring particles will have a circulatory motion so this is known as the this is a difference between a translatory motion and the rotatory motion so let us go to the second slide so let us see the i will give the definition of the translatory motion so you can take your notebook and write it down so translatory motion is a motion in which all the particles have in the uh, or have a particular direction of motion or we can write as a rigid body is said to have a translatory motion when it moves such that all the particles of the body have the same direction in a translatory so i will type it
in a translatory motion all the particles move in a same direction same direction and in rotatory in rotatory motion all the part particles in the axial line will be fixed and the nearby atoms nearby particles will move in a circulatory motion so this is the difference between a translatory and circulatory motion let us go to the next slide so let us see what is position of uh, position path length and the position path length and the displacement of the particle so now we can see the figure in the next slide so position means so here o is in the position 0 on the number line q is in the position 3 p is in the position 5 r is in the position minus 2 and s is in the position minus 4 and this is position that means the location of a particle in a particular di direction is known as the position of the particle then what is path length path length is the total length of the body it is the total length of the body so that is if the body moves from o to q so it is having 3 meter so suppose if it is measured in meter 3 meter again from q to p so we'll add 3 plus 5 so 3 plus 2 so this is total distance so that is path length then displacement is so if the particle moves from 3 to 0 to 5 and again comes back to 3 so we'll take it minus because it is going in the opposite direction and this is the difference between the position path length and the displacement so we can see the definitions clearly the position of the object is measured with reference to conveniently chosen origin path length is the distance moved by the object from one position to another is called path length displacement is the is defined as the change in position of the object in a particular direction okay so let us move on to our next one 
velocity. So what is velocity? Velocity is nothing but it is the displacement by time taken. Displacement by time taken. So if we take instantaneous velocity in this velocity we have average velocity and instantaneous velocity average velocity is delta v by delta t and instantaneous is dt dv by dt or we can have the limiting value limit of delta t tends to zero delta v by delta t which is given by dt dv by dt okay so similarly we have for uh, acceleration or let us take for speed so speed is a scalar quantity it is defined as distance upon time so average it is also denoted by v so that is d x by dt so sorry here velocity is d delta x by delta x by delta t dx by dt and here also delta x that is displacement okay so my mistake I apologize. So here again, instantaneous speed we can take it as limit of delta t tends to zero. The the delta x upon delta t which is equal to dx upon dt. And similarly, we can take for acceleration. Acceleration is the rate of change of velocity dv by dt. It is given by again average acceleration is dv by dt. Instantaneous acceleration is limit delta t tends to zero dv by dt. So it is the it is SI unit is meter per second. meter per second square and speed is SI unit is meter per second and velocity SI unit is meter per second. Hope you have understood. Please, if you have any queries, you can ask me and please subscribe to my channel. Till then, bye-bye. Thank you.